Hello and welcome back to the second part of the Patriots U Trips offense. U Trips, you guys don't know, it's called Pats Y Off Trips Pats. It's known as U Trips. It is only to be found in the Patriots offense. We look at it right now, and it is one of the most powerful offenses in the game, in my opinion. Just because it is so unique, not a lot of people are using it, and you can catch a lot of people off guard now. I'm not going to show everything about this formation because there's just so much. A lot of this formation really is just improvising. I'll show you a couple of beaters. I'll show you one or two rock combos. But everything else is just you getting comfortable in the formation. I personally use Hot Rod Master. So you really can be flexible. I really recommend you guys to get Hot Rod Master because this Steve McNair, he's really good. Also, he's pretty cheap right now because Josh Allen just came out and he's probably the best quarterback in the game right now. Second one, Steve McNair. I really like this guy. You should pick him up if you can. Now, that's enough mud stuff. Let's now talk about our package. Because we want a running back in at tight end. How do, how do we do that? We have fullback wing as our package. Like, we flick through with the right stick. And then, once we get to fullback wing. If we have a running back at our number one fullback spot, which I have in Ultimate Team, it's where he most. It is pretty quick. Then I have number 41, who's Elvin Kamara over right here. Uh, he'll be in at the tight end spot, so that's pretty nice. Obviously, I just pressed circle even though I didn't want to. But yeah, I want to talk about a really glitchy cover three beater. Um, this tight end whip, it's so nice. Uh, you can call this out, do this out pretty much any play, but I, I like tight end whip to be honest. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna block the half, you're gonna put Hopkins on a post, you're gonna put Kamara on an out route, you're gonna streak Jones. And then you're gonna put a Thomas on a comeback route. Now you will see how this toast man uh, cover three, not man coverage, it's toast cover three, right there. We get over the top once again. I like I like to remind you guys, 99 speed, 99 zone on defense right there. Not anywhere near it now. We almost got shedded there, so obviously, like with every cover, th with every uh, one play touchdown, or with every coverage uh, coverage bomb, it is important that you get the time. And I wouldn't do this that often because that was a pretty bad pass leap right there. You should pass lead more inside. Obviously, you're gonna get pressured sometimes because it takes quite some time to develop downfield. So that is obviously something to keep in mind. You're not gonna always have the time. For example, if your opponent has uh, three D line abilities, then he's obviously gonna make it pretty tough for you. Damn, that didn't that didn't work. Maybe because I didn't put the post on or the slot apprentice post. Because actually, what's important is that you put the slot apprentice post out there. Just helps it a little bit. Or otherwise it doesn't work. It doesn't help it. It makes it's necessary for it to work. So right there you will see. We'll get the time. Damn. Now he's just playing it perfectly every time. Maybe I'll have to get the X Factor off of him. But you guys saw that this does work. Post, out, streak, comeback. Then block the halfback. That's what I like to do. Now snap the ball. Get some time. And now Yeah. He's just recognizing it too quickly with the X-Factor on. But you guys saw that it works. Let's now talk about another play. And that is actually one of my mo uh, most favorite plays because it is so unique. Again, a lot of this formation is about its uniqueness. And that's where it power comes from. its power comes from. I want to talk about Halfback Sluggo. Now, I did a video, video on this formation last year. I didn't mention this, sadly. Because I should have. Because it's really good. Um... This seam streak from Jones motion over, it does a really nice job of beating cover two. What I then like to do is just a very simple setup. Put Hopkins on a post, drag Thomas, and then motion snap him across. Now, the timing of this is crucial. You want to snap it uh, right there, just before he sets. And now, you will see that we'll, if we get the time, we can throw that down the sideline. <sighs> yeah, that, that didn't look too good, did it? But, you guys, trust me, this works. <laughs> Said that last time, and then I got picked back to back time. So, well, here we go. Gonna motion him over, snap him right there, and then we will be good to go. Pass it all the way to the sideline right there. Now, obviously, that looks pretty tight, but remember 99 speed, 99 zone that makes it a little bit tighter than it usually is. Now, one thing that you can do. It, you just hold the left stick to the left right now and then snap the ball. Now we don't have that drop back. Now it's a little bit of a shorter throw. Now it looks more open. That is something very nice. Now obviously this play is only good against cover 2. Against cover 3 you really can only throw either the post or the drag. As soon as you see the drag open against cover 3, take it. Because there's not going to be anything other than that to throw. Now, one thing that obviously I want to show you guys is that this also is a great route. 
non motion against cover two. Damn. Frustrating. Uh, that we got that knocked out. If you just want to run this against cover two, I would put a corner out on Hopkins just to put to drag the zone out a little bit and then maybe go something like this. Just to have something to look back at. A lot of crossing routes take your opponent's attention away from the middle of the field. Why is this not working, guys? Why is this not working? I'll try it again. Maybe something like this. Now you see that it works. All right. Again, this seam streak does a very nice job. Gets open along the sideline if you motion it across or motion to snap it across. And it also gets open down the middle if you don't motion it at all. Now, another cover two beater because that is probably the toughest thing to beat uh, with this formation because a lot of this stuff is really dink and dunk. It's really nice against cover two and uh, cover three. It's not that great against cover two. Tight and deep out. And you guys know how much I love those uh, outside streaks, those old school fades. Now, really what I would recommend you guys to do is to do the same thing we did the last time. I, I, I personally just blocked the halfback, put Jones on an out route, and then with Kamara you can do whatever you want. You can put him on an in route, you can keep him on that route if you want to, and then backside I usually go with the crosser. That's just what I like to do. It's while and before you're snapping the ball, you want to hold the left stick to the right and do this right there. Now it's a shorter throw. Now we can throw it a little bit easier. <sighs> These guys are just jumping everything. One more time, we'll try it. So snap the ball, boom. Oh my god, he's lit up again too. Right there, there's a window. I want to deactivate him at least, in, but it doesn't work. Um, I'll just do the tight end streak. That also does a very nice job, especially if you have a running back right there. Uh, he's, he'll be very fast. He'll get uh, up the seam pretty quickly on your opponent. One more time, I'll have to do it just to get to deactivate the X Factor, because otherwise uh, this would just be way too difficult. Like... Richard Schremer, the X-Factor, he's pretty tough to beat, not gonna lie. But, I'm gonna put a cross right there. And, I don't know, maybe a drag, something like that. Now, I'll snap the ball, I'll get over there. And now you see how this window opens up. Maybe the crosser helps it a little bit. So, this is actually the setup that I recommend you guys to, uh, to go with. Drag, block the halfback, and then crosser. Drag on the tight end, block the halfback, and then crosser on the solo side wide receiver. Uh, so, right there, snap, uh, oh, damn. Yeah, it's it's it looks pretty brutal. Uh, if you want to make sure that you get open against cover two, cover two, then you want to streak down the middle and then maybe do something like this, a um a f against cover three just in case, because this uh, McCaffrey to Hopkins the uh, flat drop from the halfback is should open up the or not should is going to open up the hitch from Hopkins against cover two cover three, just something to keep in mind. If you really want to make sure that you have everything accounted for. Because your opponent has to worry about the right side and also the left. So, going to be tough for him to cover both. Now, this is a setup that you want to go with if you strictly want to beat cover two. Also, the streak helps open up the fade a little bit. That's just something to keep in mind. But, even though this doesn't look great right there. I absolutely love hitting that, uh, that outside streak just because of the angle it has and right there you see that it does get open annoying it's pretty annoying when uh he gets jammed and then he gets jammed all the way inside right there and now you see if he can stay like to the outside like that then, then it's a really simple throw otherwise if he has to if he really just gets pushed all the way to the middle then it's a tight throw then you have to be careful with it now enough for the cover two videos i want to show you some simple stuff right now uh, that I just feel like you guys should know because there are some some plays that are just really good at spacing out your opponent And one of those plays is scat. Now let's call scat This is specifically good against cover 2 because you can run a bench concept out of this pretty easily What I would recommend you guys to do is put Kamara on an out route Put Thomas on an in route, put Hopkins on a curl and block the halfback Now motion snap I want to show this against cover 2 first because I like this more against cover 2 But you also have a backside read Against cover three, so right there we snap the ball, we look to the right, we take the halfback when not the half, we take the tight end where we have a halfback subbed in, uh, whenever we can because that's gonna be the money route. That's gonna be something that your opponent has to take care of now. If he starts maybe hard flatting because you have hit him with the out route a couple of times, 
Then now, obviously, we're gonna hit the corner. This is a very nice uh, concept against cover two because it is such a simple read. Either you hit the running back or you hit the tight end on the out route or you hit the corner. It really is that simple. Now, backside, it's gonna be a little bit trickier because, for example, let's say our, com our opponent comes out in cover three but has it baseline, then we don't know whether it's cover three or cover two. Now, if we motion across, motion across, we snap it right there. Now we'll have the chance to make the read either the curl or the out route against cover three. Now, I am aware that this is gonna be pretty difficult to comprehend because this is a very unusual route combination like the out route and the curl, but for example, against uh, hard flats, we will now see that the out route gets covered, but now we can throw that curl route. That is a very simple one to read just in case you snap the ball against the coverage you don't want to snap it against. Now, the thing also with that is, I say now very often, don't I? A problem can be that this is right where the user is going to be at. Usually the user is going to be on the running back side. So there's obviously a chance for you to get picked. But right there, just take the simple yards. If you get, if you call this play against cover three, it's important to have something to at least get a couple of yards. Really, you're not going to have uh, much, much luck besides that because if you snap the ball against, sorry, if you snap the ball against the wrong coverage, then obviously you're pretty much shit out of luck. Now, now there we go again. Uh, this PA fork, I really like the C route. If you have 90 deep route running there, that toast to man coverage. Uh, but besides that, there's not much more that I want to show you in this video. Obviously, if you guys want to go get the whole deal, uh, check out my pay hip. My full Patriots ebook will be written down also with some special plays that I'm not going to break down on YouTube over there for a small fee. Obviously, if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll direct you over there. Also, pay up link is in the description. Uploaded my Panthers offense uh, totally for free up there. So if you guys haven't gotten it yet, obviously check that out. It would really, I would really appreciate it. Um, but really, there's not much more to say. I want to show you this curl fat now a little bit because it's just a very simple rod combination that I think everyone can use. Um, really, what I, the only thing that I do is I put drags on Thomas and Hopkins and then a street Camara. It's really just that simple. I take the running back as soon as I can. Yeah, um, that is one thing that is pretty annoying this year. Um, curl flats, they do a really nice job of just tricking you into throwing table routes at them. So drag, drag, or that's right there. Now that was very tight. I'm aware of that. If you want to make, if you want to open up the post a little bit more, then you go with this setup. Uh, streak Hopkins in route Kamara and in route the outside wide receiver and now you see how we get, how we get that post open a little bit now the thing with this post route however good it looks it is right in front of the user so you're up so it's very gonna be very rare that your opponent is not gonna use it that obviously be ready to check down in this because like I said it's just it's right in front of the user's face and if he doesn't use it then he's pretty bad at Madden but that's pretty much all there is, or all that I want to show you about why after pets. There is a lot of stuff that I want I have broken down. I have about four pages on why after pets. I just don't want to show it all because a lot of this stuff is very, it's very small, very minute. It's not really some. It's not really like you're looking for a crosser. You you often have a hitch that you plan to get open against cover three, and it's really not those big plays. If you want to get an, an intensive breakdown on this formation and obviously go over there to my pay hip and buy the ebook but i feel like this is not really for youtube this this offense it is it is really really powerful obviously there's some nice glitches like that cover three bomb but you really have to dedicate time to this and i dedicate a lot of time to this i'm not sure if i want to give this all this away for free on youtube just because i spent so many hours in the lab and i played so many games online with this it's just, yeah, you guys got me. I appreciate you taking the time. Obviously, make sure to like and subscribe because I'm on, we're on YouTube and that's what you say at the end of the video. If you haven't yet, checked out the Panthers Gun Bunch offense. Obviously, that is probably the most powerful passing offense right now. Purely passing offense, uh, just in my opinion. Check that video out. Go over to my pay hip. Download the ebook. I appreciate you for taking the time. See you in the next video. Peace out. And the next video is actually going to be a good uh, gonna be about gun bunch gun bunch not as powerful as it was man 19 but still really good i want to show you some nice tricks out of it so be ready for that until then bye